the Thomas Lockley affair. A uh, pseudo-historian has been fired and the debacle with Assassin's Creed Shadow continues. Today we're going to talk about that. I've tried to make this video so many times, but it's been surprisingly difficult to do. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I will also say, historical sources are important and fabricating history to push a narrative is extremely dangerous. My name is William James, I'm the host of The Board Book Geek. If you want early access and exclusive content, please consider becoming a channel member or joining my Patreon. So let's start the show. We need to talk about Thomas Lockley. Thomas Lockley was, is, a historian, air quotes, at a university in Japan. He is currently being investigated and deleted all his social media. He was editing Wikipedia articles since 2017 and there is no, there is very few actual primary sources about the legendary Black Samurai, to say the least on the subject. Everything outside of that is subjective and everything outside of that is probably an outright lie. He has occasionally appeared in pop culture stuff in Japan, but that's kind of it. To quote Twitter, he was later accused of using an alt to edit Wikipedia to promote his own book and papers. Basically, he's being accused of being a ist grifter now. There is no if, buts, and maybes about that, and it could cause a diplomatic incident. Now, before everyone jumps down my throat, Assassin's Creed is not a history lesson, but it always had a root within history. This pr game, I'm pretty sure, exists just to prove a point with DEI, and it's really unfortunate. It's... I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, but this has really soured me. There was The downside is when there's no primary sources, when there's no real information, and when there's nothing, everything is subjective. And it's kind of sad. There's so many things wrong with the representation of Japanese culture within Thomas Lockley's work and the works of this new AC Shadow. Japanese gamers are rejecting it, he's being investigated, and countless other people have been caught in the crossfire. It's... <sighs> I mean, it's ridiculous. And they're doubling down on it. The thing is, as a history nerd, it's fascinating to witness. And what I find even funnier about this whole situation is that, you know, uh, Capcom legends remind players that Assassin's Creed is the shadow is not reality. Yet, something that isn't reality, Genshin Impact, is, has, a, has countless things against it on stop cultural appropriation, and their skin colour is wrong. Can we just talk about the hypocrisy of the whole situation? Basically, at this point, using fake Wikipedia sources, the story is fabricated. Now, I'm going to put this out there though. What we do have on him is fascinating. The legendary, air quotes, Black Samurai. There are some really interesting footnotes here that could make a great side story or a, a section of the game, but it doesn't need to be. It's, it's just... You know, they wanted to do a game with a Japanese character and present Japanese history from in the AC universe. That would be great. But instead, they used someone who 
wanted to um, destroy history to promote his own work. A lot of um, Ubisoft stands love to throw the Encyclopedia Panica as proof. But look who wrote it. You know, when, re when history actually gets rewritten to support a narrative, it's just sad. I just think... I'm just sitting here sad about it, because watching history get distorted, watching people have do this is just sad. We're seeing it with Tolkien, we're seeing it with countless other sources and materials, books, history, fiction. Changing history to fit a narrative. He is all, Thomas Lockley has also been scrubbed from records of his former university. His career has been destroyed. And rightly so. His good reputation has been erased. He also deleted his Facebooks. And the fact that the Japanese have been hammering the fact checks on his work, books and other sources, really do. I read through the book, um, I read through one of his books, and uh, I didn't pay for it, don't worry, I got it from the library. All I'm going to say is... <sighs> there is so much there that can't be backed up. And he explicitly does state in one interview that he crafted the narrative himself and to try and fill in the blank. You can't take that as a historical source for any character. For any piece of history. You just can't. And honestly, I think he's going to go down as one of the biggest hacks of the 21st century at this point. He did it just to prove... He did it just to sell his work and try and prove a narrative. And it's just... It's just a mess. Like, the whole situation is a mess. And where do I start with that mess? Because we'll be here for a week. Just going into it. <sighs> While the character did exist, there is no evidence that he was a samurai. There's no evidence that he was even remotely close to being an actual samurai. There's no sources, really. There's myths, there's conjecture, there's studies, there's pop culture. But maybe we need to look more carefully. So my advice to everyone is don't use Wikipedia as a primary source. Don't use Fandom Wiki as a primary source. He openly misrepresented the history of Japan at talking to a Japanese scholar who lives in Tokyo, who is Japanese, we spent a good three hours on Zoom laughing about his book. It's... It's fascinating. The story was fabricated by Thomas Lockley. And... There's no need for these people. I think we need harder checks. So yeah, that's being really honest. We need harder checks. We need harder... We need to be able to back up everything. 
his career is over and AC Shadow is probably going to flop, especially at the price that the game is. So, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.